Good afternoon, Dom Colgan, not on the back porch. It's pouring rain outside, but I tell you, the first um, four games of the season for the New York Mets makes my 90-win prediction look pretty weak. But I have to say, having been a, a baseball follower and a Met fan for 68 years, I'm not throwing in the towel after four games, but a lot of my worst fears, which are kind of in your subconscious, have come to light. I mean, they've had two solidly pitched games, one an exceptionally well-pitched game by Sean Manea last night. When they're pitching well, like on opening day, they lost 3-1. to one. Last night, they lost 5 to nothing. For nine innings, they couldn't put the bat on the ball. A game they should have won last night. Then when they finally do score six runs and get a couple of home runs from uh, Beatty and from Alonzo and Alvarez, they lose seven to six. So this is not encouraging. It seems like whatever it takes for the Mets to lose, they're going to lose. And for those who are predicting the Mets will win 68 or 75 games, you look fully vindicated. But I usually don't make judgments on the baseball season until Mother's Day, or certainly May the 1st at the earliest. But right now, they had better put some wins together fast because by the time J.D. Martinez joins the Mets, they could already be seven or eight games out of first place. But it is a 162-game season. And uh, an 0-4 start, it's really, in the long, in the big scheme of things, it's not going to be taken too seriously, but a 1-9 start would be. So it's time for the New York Mets to get going to get some clutch hits, to live up to their potential. They're stars on that team. They shouldn't be as lackadaisical as they are now. It looks like they're not even motivated. It's time for the New York Mets to get it going, or else they're going to finish last. Thank you very much. Let's go Mets.